the good biologist and to public all the health chiefs. specialist uh, of the UH, hi, evening, made famous by his uh, hi, many dance moves. Nice to see everyone again yes. after yeah. a long time. Thank yeah. you for joining us. It's and been that, a while. We haven't seen you uh, in quite a bit. Uh, have you been practicing? Oh, I've been working from home and my office, the Knowledge Management Information Technology Service, is responsible for the ongoing master listing of eligible individuals that mm. will be vaccinated soon. Oh, There was a suggestion earlier today that uh, the OH Secretary and IATF Head uh, Director Galvez should uh, submit themselves to vaccination first and President Duterte himself actually to uh, make a different kind of vaccination in a different place in his body. <laughs> Not I the mean, posterior. This, the, <laughs> okay, uh, do, do, Lucci, you think, uh, uh, do you think moves yes. like this can change uh, or, or can eradicate the vaccine hesitancy or at least okay. you know, okay. reduce it? Uh, People are swayed not only by information or actions, but what they actually believe in, their values. And there has been a study we're in, and it was a surprising result because uh, people now would trust business rather than government. Mm. And the good news is the private sector is with the government to help us make sure that the rollout of vaccines will be a success. So maybe we can uh, tap them so that this can increase vaccine confidence. It's a study that uh, gave those uh, results when business campaign, because uh, business has a reason to promote vaccination. It opens up, opens up the economy and this can sway people to be patriotic, even if they don't believe in government, but they should. When uh, we give the information, when we have prepared for deploying the vaccines, Secretary Galvez is doing a great job. And if people can trust even just our business partners, then that's going to be a good sign. Yes, Doc. But Doc, the president uh, is the person with the highest uh, trust, trust ratings, uh, not just in government, but, uh, but uh, what we've seen so far uh, in all, almost all the surveys of previous presidents. Uh, so as, as a matter of trust, pa lang, eh, malaki po yung epekto kung ang Pangulo mismo ay uh, yun nga, magpapagawa nito publicly. That's correct. And I still think the... Why, what if the president changes his mind? So he can change his mind. So right now he doesn't want to reveal uh, his, uh, if he gets vaccinated, but he can change his mind, especially if this can convince many people. Mm -hmm. Right now we're working very hard so that uh, people get their vaccines. Here's the situation. Uh, Filipinos that are watching this broadcast. Mm -hmm. Doc, we'll, our let's go. Yes, Apple. our president, I tagalogin ko na po, sige gumagawa po, ng po. paraan para magkaroon tayo ng bakuna, sapat na bakuna, at malinaw gusto niya lahat ng Pilipino. Ang sitwasyon po sa buong mundo, tight na po ang supply. Talagang ang haba po ng pila. Sana po maintindihan nyo yung ginagawa ng Philippine team na pinangungunahan po ni Secretary Galvez. Ang hirap po makipag-usap. At ito yung gustong iwasan ng WHO na itong vaccine ay maging magamit sa nationalism kung saan yung gumawa ng bakuna, sila lang ang makikinabang. Mm -hmm. Kaya nga nagkaroon ng COVAX facility in WHO para magkaroon ng equity. At naging masaya lahat kasi bumalik na yung Estados Unidos dito. So, mm -hmm. tayo po ay o-order ng bakuna. Tingnan nyo po mangyayari kasi yung iba doon kailangan ng minus 70. Opo. Ginawa rin yan ng paraan. Meron ng ang RITM 
ng mga ganitong storage na up to 1 million doses pwede niya nang uh, ilagay doon sa kanyang negative 70 na storage facilities o mga freezers na tinatawag, eh kung walang magpapabakuna, masisira po na hadyon. Ba't ko sinabing patriotic? Pag ang pinaniwalaan nyo po ay mas mabuti pang mahawa na lang, mali po yun. Kasi may risk po kayo madadala sa ospital at maari po kayong mamatay. Pag binakunahan po kayo, hindi po kayo mauuspital. So ito po ang isa sa epekto ng bakuna. So balit naintindihan namin natatakot kayo sapagkat may nababalitaan kayo may namamatay, may nagkakaroon ng severe allergy. Kaya nga po tinitimbang namin at ito ay ipapaliwanag isa-isa doon sa mga babakunahan bago po kayo tumanggap ng bakuna. Para kung sakali pong ayaw nyo pa rin, hindi naman po kayo pipilitin. Kaya lang, sa dulo kayo ulit ng pila. Pila, opo. Oh. Oh, at kung may natitira pang bakuna, mababakuna kayo. Pero kung ubus na, oh, sorry na, na lang. Mm. Pero, oh, oh. pero Dok, Dok, uh, kilalang kilala po kayo sa pagpopopularize ng mga mensahe ng, uh, ng DOH, sa mga health issues. Uh, you're very, very well known for for you know for your own unique way of delivering the message uh, mm. to the public uh, uh, of course i don't just mean by talking about it but also by by showing the moves <laughs> ba, ma, ba, <laughs> dapat mag choreograph <laughs> kayo ng dance step Par that will para. make everybody swing to the vaccine tune <laughs> nako parang nagpapahimik na kayo <laughs> okay <laughs> uh, uh, sige, uh, siguro uh, i'll run a survey kung ano yung uh, sayaw na pwede natin gawin para maingganyo pero sinasabi nyo nga mas malaki ang tiwala sapagkat uh, mataas ang rating ng ating Pangulo mm, kung siya mismo ang mangunguna po at yung nirekomendan nyo rin na mauna si Secretary Galvez at si Secretary Duque III Okay. Uh, Dok, sa, sa pagbakuna, hindi sa pagsayaw, ha? Ang pinag-usapan natin. <laughs> bakuna po yun, bakuna. Hindi <laughs> ko na doon po ako. Baka mamaya nagkakalito. Baka mamaya si Presidente magsayaw, eh. <laughs> Pero galing nga nang sinasabi ko, ang pagbabakuna po ay isang personal choice. Yes po. Tandaan po natin, hindi to routine immunization, emergency use authorization to. Ano po ibig sabihin yan? Hindi po tayo mababakunahan nang sabay-sabay. Mm -hmm. okay. Ako okay. mismo mauhuli kasi mauuna yung mga doktor na talagang tumitingin ng pasyente. Mm -hmm. Yung frontliners. Okay. Opo. Dr. Eric Tayag. Yung sayaw networking. Ami, mukhang mali yun. May sa yung sayaw ko is working to produce results. Uh, working. <laughs> Patikin pa lang yan. Patikin pa lang yan. <laughs> Baka si Presidente ang mag-twerk kung doon siya magpapapakuna. Baka paramdam na yung sinabi ng Pangulo na sa, kailangan doon siya sa posterior mm -hmm. mabakunan. <laughs> well, maraming salamat po. Dr. Eric Tayag, uh, it's always good to have you and we hope to have you again when you're ready with your moves. Okay, paalala lang po natin na between a person na walang bakuna at yung tao na may bakuna, lamang yung may bakuna. Opo. Mm. Precious ang vaccines, but vaccines do not save lives. Vaccination saves lives. There you go. Kailangan maiturok. Opo. Okay. Kung nasa bodega lang yan, it's useless. Mm -hmm.